Hey everyone, you join us outside the studio today with what might be the best series theme and car combination we've ever had. So today we have with us Hyundai's Envision 74 Hydrogen Electric Fuel Cell Concept. So what is it? This is a seven year rolling laboratory that Hyundai has been working on to test out combining an electric powertrain with a hydrogen fuel cell. Michael, I think you know a few things about this car. Do you want I, to tell people? I do, as you say. Like, so it's got a hydrogen electric fuel cell hybrid drivetrain. So this is very interesting. So it starts at the front where we've got a hydrogen fuel cell, which can create 85 kilowatts. And then as we move back towards the center of the car, you have your more kind of traditional battery that you might expect in a modern car now. That's 65 kilowatt hours and it's placed in between the driver and the passenger for really good weight distribution. And then for that fuel cell in the front, obviously we need the hydrogen. So the hydrogen is stored in the back in two 2.1 kilogram tanks. And obviously all this energy being created, we wanted to create some power to make this thing move. So there's two electric motors in the back, one for each wheel. Those generate 500 kilowatts total. And because there's two separate motors, it can do torque vectoring, which is great for things like setting a great lap time to help the dynamics of the vehicle. Can it also do skids? It can do skids. Yes. Because obviously you can just send all that torque to the inside wheel and get this thing going sideways, which I know is something that Chris really loves to do. I like skids. <laughs> and uh, the great thing about this kind of hybrid uh, drivetrain is you can charge it up like your traditional EV but also you can just within five minutes fill those hydrogen tanks and then you're good to go for 370 miles of range. So as Michael said, it's got a hydrogen fuel cell up front. It's a really interesting technology. It's using a chemical reaction called reverse electrolysis to generate electricity using the hydrogen in those tanks at the back. That creates 85 kilowatts, about 100 horsepower, I think, isn't it? That's then being sent to either the battery or the motors. So why would Hyundai do this? Well, one of the problems with EVs in terms of motorsport and track performance is over time, the more you hammer on it, the more degradation you have from the battery, the less power output you've got. Obviously, in a race scenario, you want maximum power all the time. So Hyundai is using the fuel cell to kind of deal with that power drop off from the battery. So it can always produce that 670 horsepower or 500 kilowatts. Meaning on track, this thing can go for lap after lap without any power drop off. But we've not spoken about maybe the coolest part about this car yet. The looks, look at it, it's so cool. Michael, what's your favorite bit about it? Well, where do I start? What I really like about this car is they looked to the original Pony Coupe that they did in 1974 and used a lot of those design influences in this car. So if you look at that car, you'll be able to recognize elements from the front lights. And then just as you look at the side, the, the wedge shape of the front and the back is very reminiscent of that car. But obviously, it has taken you know, inspiration from other 80s cars or some famous cars that you might have seen I in some movies. I can't think what car. What car could that be? And I really like the wheel covers on this car. Like, if you're a big fan of 80s Group B Rally, you will recognize them straight away. I think they're a great touch. And then as we go back, this car is primarily at the moment for like a motorsport development purpose. And obviously, I think this is your favorite thing on the car. I love a big rear wing. I love a it. A big rear wing. So this is just great. Give you that downforce, give you that performance that you need. Just incorporating it really nicely into the general style of the car. It's not just for looks. Like obviously, it gives that aerodynamics, really helps the performance of the car around the track. And they've incorporated it really well with the rest of the car. So I just love the general look of this thing. It's amazing. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Got to say a massive thanks to Hyundai for letting us have this. It's been amazing to have it at the studio, get a really close look at it and learn about the technologies inside of it. We really hope everyone's going to love driving this around in our retro themed Mexico, this series, along with our new radio station in Forza Horizon 5. Adios. Adios.